Indeed, um, it's our task, uh, the governments and the religious organizations, to make sure that we do our best to maintain the peace and stability in the world. And as you have correctly said, uh, the times are very challenging right now. Uh, but uh, we are thankful that uh, our country, Tanzania, is uh, quite stable, and uh, Zanzibar as well. Um, they will tell you that we had our challenges here before. And uh, for that reason, we had decided to formulate a government of national unity. And the reason is to bring the, uh, the people together, to make sure that we govern together, and uh, so as to maintain the peace and uh, stability that we have. And I must say that we are thankful for the fact that it has worked. Uh, Zanzibar is quite stable, it is peaceful. So um, I would ask uh, the, the, the church to support us in that endeavor, to work with us, to make sure that we maintain the peace and stability that we have uh, today. Um, from the economic point of view, we are, we are doing uh, quite well, uh, despite the fact that we are just recovering from the pandemic, the, the, the COVID pandemic. As you know, uh, the main sector of economy in Zanzibar is tourism, and it was impacted a lot by the, the, the pandemic. But I'm glad to report that uh, we are now back to pre-pandemic numbers in terms of tourism uh, uh, sector which is contributing about 30% of our GDP. So it's quite an important sector. And uh, we are quite, uh, we are doing very well now. Uh, and so we would like to work with all the stakeholders to make sure that we maintain that stability and security. And I must say, uh, we are cooperating very closely with the Anglican Church here in, uh, in Zanzibar and all other religious organizations and uh, for that reason, I'm extremely happy to have you in our country. Yeah. And, and I believe this will be the start of further cooperation between uh, the two sides, the Anglican Church and the government of Zanzibar. So thank you very much for being here. When I look around and see Tanzania's stability, its ability to cope with the sudden transition of power following the death of the head of state, uh, they are all the signs of a country of maturity and sense. Um, uh, you, uh, I have met two presidents of Tanzania only. I will meet a third tomorrow. Um, I'm honored this is the first president of Zanzibar I've met. And um, by contrast, we've had, I, can't, I lost count, I think it's five or six prime ministers in the last eight years. So you have a stability that we need to get back. <laughs> and I appreciate the way in which also I noticed in the news your work on gender justice and gender equality, which is something you've really gone out on a, a, a limb about. And I appreciate that very greatly. Thank you. This is um, Zanzibar Chest. <laughs> that is, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> so, if that's traditional in, in this area. Yes. 